Hey y'all, and welcome back to the Sprinkle Factor YouTube channel where we cover everything culinary. Um, this is Chef Sprinkle here, and of course I'm back with another recipe. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and join our Sprinkle family. Today, happy National Ice Cream Day. We're making caramel bacon blondies and cinnamon toast crunch ice cream. Homemade, no ice cream maker. Let's get right into it. This is gonna be a super, super easy recipe. And as always, I have your back and I'm gonna walk you right through it. So we're gonna start with two cups of cold, heavy cream. And of course, this is gonna be the base of our ice cream. And we are going to just mix this up until it gets light and fluffy. So we're just basically gonna turn this into whipped cream. If you guys don't have a stand mixer, literally you can use a hand mixer or it may take longer, but you can use a whisk. You'll definitely get to these soft peaks, um, no question. So then, after we have whipped the cream, we're gonna add in some of our, just a sprinkle, honey butter cinnamon roll seasoning. It's a perfect, perfect match with the Cinnamon Toast Crunch flavor profile. It's gonna be so delicious. Once we finish that, we're gonna add in our um, sweetened condensed milk. You guys, add in the whole can, okay? Don't cheat yourself, treat yourself. This is gonna be definitely worth it. So we're gonna add in the sweetened condensed milk. We don't need any sugar because this is totally sweet enough. And we are gonna mix it up. Make sure you guys kind of find the happy medium between mixing and over whipping because you don't want your ice cream to turn into butter. Um, so just mix everything until it's just incorporated. And then next we're gonna add our vanilla, of course, the classic flavor, and a pinch of salt. Make sure you put your pinch of salt and you don't forget that. Um, once that is finished, we are going to, of course, add the star of the show, the cereal, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and add a cup of cereal. And of course, make sure you scrape down the sides of your bowls to make sure there's no um, sweetened condensed milk or vanilla hiding out in the cracks and crevices. Uh, once we do that, of course, we are going to um, Add the cereal now if you can see this is nice and silky smooth and so creamy it's going to be so delicious now again add the cereal and then we are going to fold the cereal in nice and gently and i'm gonna be quiet for a second because i slowed this down for y'all so you can kind of see the magic happening right for your eyes Now, once we have this all mixed in, y'all, we're gonna make sure we let this freeze overnight and you are left with an amazing, creamy, delicious product. Let yours soften up a little bit more. I was too anxious, but you get the drift. So, the next thing that we're gonna do, and I know it's kind of shocking to see this in this video, but we are gonna fry up some bacon. I use center cut bacon because it is, um, you know, a little bit more um tender you know and it's a little thinner so you don't get overwhelmed with everything being in the blondie you know big big pieces of bacon so center cut is perfect for me um as you guys see we started with the melted butter and we're going to add both of our sugars the brown and the granulated sugar um of course don't panic if i'm going too fast i'm going to leave all of the ingredients down in the description y'all know how i do for you of course, we're going to add in that just a sprinkle honey butter cinnamon roll seasoning. Y'all know I live for my seasoning, sweet and savory. Um, of course, y'all can find that on the website. The link is always going to be in the description to the website. Um, I did put the seasonings on sale last week, and I told y'all it would be over by Sunday. But I snuck in a few more days for y'all. Um, but of course, other than that, Blondie recipe is super simple. Now... We can go a totally different way with this, you guys, and you can add in some rainbow sprinkles and make it super, super fun and super cute. Just take this in, in uh, a whole different direction with the sprinkles and make confetti blondies and do the ice cream the same way. Leave out the cinnamon. Just make simple vanilla, you guys, and make confetti blondie ice cream sandwiches. These are just as perfect as the caramel bacon blondies. So either route you guys want to go, those are just a couple of options um, but of course let's get back to the recipe we are going to add in a half a cup of chopped bacon 
and that's going to go into the dry ingredients you want to put into the dry ingredients because if you kind of put the bacon in there while it's already mixed up the bacon is actually just going to probably sink to the bottom so you want to just coat the bacon in a light layer or um what's the word i'm looking for help me out y'all a light dusting i guess of the dry ingredients so this way it could be evenly incorporated throughout the blondie i'm just using these super super cute um cast iron skillets the mini skillets and i'm going to make two of them and we are going to put them in the oven we're going to bake them we're going to bake them at 350 for this small size i literally did like 12 to 15 minutes just keep an eye on it depending on your oven if you're going to put it all in one pan you're looking at maybe about 20 to 25 minutes um but just check it as long as the toothpick goes in the edges nice and easy and comes out clean you guys are ready to go so of course as you see the ice cream is so smooth and so silky and i'm not just tooting my own horn y'all y'all have to try this because this literally is the best ice cream you will ever eat but at this time i just have to slow it down i haven't seen y'all in a while so i'm gonna give y'all some extra slow-mo And just like that, we are done. Y'all should have seen me in the cut jam to the music. I get so excited about the background music. Um, but just like that, again, y'all, we are done. These are really rich, really creamy when you put the ice cream on top. Both of them are treats of their own. But when you put them together, they are literally a force to be reckoned with. So um, just like that, y'all, you have made caramel bacon blondies and homemade cinnamon toast crunch ice cream without an ice cream machine simple right <laughs> um as always i love y'all i love y'all so so much i promise i won't stay away as long next time um of course as my grandma would say this recipe is finger licking time i love y'all so 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 much make sure you guys like comment subscribe share with all of your friends and as always i'll see y'all next time